I'ma take this shot for you, put me up some Hennessy You know I wish the best for you Will you die for like I was laying next to you Guys, so we got a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we have a special guest, Lil Mook from Philly <laughs> So, um, so what part of Philly you from? from Topside Island, second and chin floors to be exact Okay, so tell us about how it is over there. Like, how was it growing up for you? How was it growing up for me? It was real, like, you know, just let me say it was like a life lesson, like growing up, because everything, everything you do is just be like, you live and you learn. Mm -hmm. Like, now, I ain't going to say it's the, it's the most terrorist place on the planet, but when you okay. actually living in that environment, like, you, you start to really see shit firsthand. So, like, okay. yeah, it was difficult. It was treacherous. Like, that's how I'm just going to say it, like. Okay. Every day, like you know, people who live in Philly, you know, they talk about they talk about like what's going on. Yeah, they most talk of about, the artists from Philly. Yeah. yeah, like they talk about how it is, and you know, we all got similarities. Mm -hmm. But you know, I ain't trying to compare my story to nobody else's. But all I can say is it had been rough, and growing up, like you definitely learn a lot. Okay, so what was like one experience? I guess you learned that stuck with you for life. It's probably a lot, but one that you remember. Like, don't, I'm never going to Don't put game. all your trust in nobody. Mm. Okay. So, um, so what's your earliest memory of music? Like, how did you get into music? Like, was your mom playing music? or? Yeah, I got into music early because my mom was so hooked on it. Like, she would be playing music when she cook or clean or, like, even driving. Like, and I'm just in the world. Like, she always play, like, old R&B soul. So, like, growing okay. up. I would be listening, but then I get I got hooked on the hip hop real early because okay. you know we a new era, yeah. we a new generation. So like when I heard that rap and I heard things that I couldn't actually say in front of my mom and shit like that, you know, a whole you, we, vibe. Yeah, it's a whole different vibe. <laughs> like you you in the kid's mind and you just you know you mm -hmm. somewhere branched off. Like no yeah. parents, no nothing, no like yeah. everything is rated R Old now. Kids, yeah. You feel me? So when I seen the lifestyle that most artists live today i i like just i just always like admired it i wanted mm -hmm. it so that's where it went okay so who was you listening to growing up like who's some people that inspired you especially in the music scene um for one biggie smalls like i always a big fan of him okay. um whole like i wasn't a big fan of whole music, music. like i love i definitely i, I just love his character okay you feel what i'm saying like he always had that mentality Okay. But and um Meek was also a, a inspiration, like definitely like coming up in Philly you see a lot of Meek. And I like I said, I was in love with that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. and Meek always had a spotlight in the city. So when I okay. seen that, it just really like, you know, it, it kinda gave me that boost. Cause I knew it was possible. Okay, okay. So when did you know like music was for sure you? Like was it like when your friends told you? No, told I knew you? when I first started writing. <laughs> like I knew when I first like started made my first rap. Like I ain't had to. You hear remember nobody. your first rap? No, I don't. Oh. That's what I'm saying. But it's like I always knew I was better. Like I always okay. knew I was better than like not even, like I always knew I was better than yesterday. I always knew I was like. Okay, so the was you always out. practicing? Was you always writing? Yeah, I was, like, when I was a young boy, I always used to write. Like, I always used to write. Like, it don't matter what it was. Because, you know, like, my mom, she tried to be real strict on us and real hard on us. So, mm -hmm. certain shit, I, like, I monitor around it. Like, she yeah. wouldn't allow us to curse. Mm -hmm. So, now, I'm writing raps, and I got a bunch of curse words in oh, it. Oh, so you know I'm you not, gotta Yeah, them. I'm not in the house uh, uh -huh. rehearsing them up and down the steps. Cause <laughs> I know my mom, you feel me? Yeah. So I go in my room, lock in, and I just be writing whatever I wanted on them papers. And I tuck them off somewhere, like in my bed or something. Okay. So you was tucking the raps. Yeah. So how do you feel like you improved musically from then to now? From then to now? Yeah. I feel like since, like, now, like, I'm, like, I, like, I matured and I got older. And, you know, like, I got more experience. Mm -hmm. And, like, I ain't never used to study music, but now I do. I do my homework. Mm -hmm. So now it's like I'm more like lyrically involved. Okay. I used to just say a bunch of shit that rhyme and a bunch of shit like like cuss words, make it sound good, but it had no meaning. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Now everything I, I rap is about it's, it's a topic in it. Yeah, or so nice going telling on. stories. Exactly. Structure in it. Exactly. And all that good stuff. Okay, so what lesson did you learn, I guess, doing music? You said structure in it. Um, did you learn any business tips like Something you could give, like, upcoming people? Um, 
like as far as business tips, like I feel like let me think, like you should get you a team. Like if you in this line of business, you need a team. You can't just mm-hmm. waltz in anyway by yourself. Just, yeah, yeah, like oh, I got I got a guy giving gift. <laughs> I'm about to go straight to the top. Okay. That don't work like that. It's motherfuckers with like like pure talent and still yeah. in the gutter, like stuck mm-hmm. in the trenches or or really can't get out of that hole because they don't got the right people behind them. They don't got the right people giving them that push or putting that battery into them. Like, yeah. And I feel like a lot of artists' mentalities will hold them back too. Yeah, a lot of artists, because some people really uh, only only know like what they see. So, you know, like say for example, I grew up in Philly mm-hmm. and I'm just around bums all day or I'm around, <laughs> so no, for real, and I'm, nah, around, I I'm around bums or robbers or killers. Like that's all they know. So they yeah. don't think, oh, I could be the next Diddy. Oh, right. I could be the next. Notorious B.I.G. But how can we invest this in someone else? And, exactly. Yeah. And you know, like I said, you you only you only you only go you only know, but so much like because you cut you living in your environment. Yeah, so definitely going out, getting those different experiences mm-hmm. taught you a lot. Taught me a lot. Okay, so what do you feel like was your breakout song? Because some people say Wildin', some people say Best for You. A breakout you song in my like in, in my opinion, opinion yeah. was Best for You. Like when I when I made the song, when I came in the studio and actually like recorded that drum, like. The first night I said it's a hit, it's gonna go. I called my mom, said, "Yo, like this, this is a banger, like this <laughs> gonna blow." Okay, so so like, how, what was like, who was okay when the song was going up? Who's someone that hit you up like, "Yo, this hard"? That kind of like surprised you, or was like, anybody reached out was like, "Yo, this fire," or because I know you see people commenting, you see people following you now. A lot of people reached out, but it wasn't like. I can't really not think saying they want to work when they were just like, "Yo, this is fire, keep pushing." Nothing. Yeah, like I had a lot of, uh, you know, like, like what you call them, like radio promoters, like mm-hmm. or, or DJs. Let me say yeah. that, like, like DJ Come Up, Kyle McCab, like uh, DJ Diamond Cuts, like um, okay. DJ RL. Like it's a lot of DJs that hit me up, like and just you know gave me my flowers, just told me like you know I, I got some talent, and, mm-hmm. and it's definitely some mainstream artists that hit me up but i really can't think of any right now like meek he showed me like he's been showing me support since like yeah from again i feel like i found you out from him yeah like meek he always been like had that supportive like you know yeah he he was sharing on his story a lot too Mm -hmm. i seen that so um so what was like some crazy fan interactions you had so far so i know when the song going up now people stopping you in the street and all that yeah but now it's even more legit like (laughs) <laughs> I was in, a, I was in the like, I was flew to LA. I was down in LA for like three weeks straight. No uh-huh. lie, I go to LA when I'm leaving out. I'm sitting in the like, I'm waiting for my flight. So I'm got my glasses on, my mask. Like yeah, I'm thinking, right. I'm just in the cut. Yeah, you think I'm you low key? So he walk up to some random dude. Like he walk up to me, tap me. I just, I'm caught by surprise because I'm thinking nobody don't even know. <laughs> I'm on, I'm in West Coast. Like right. you get what I'm saying. So now I'm like, all right. I look up, he like, you little mook, right? I'm like, it's, it's mook, by the way. Like, yeah, so like, he, he's like, yeah, uh, best for you, 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 you the artist, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, I knew that was him. He called like three other buddies over there. And I'm like, he's like hold wow. up, hold up. Yeah. And so that's when it really like kind of whooped me up. Like, all right, this is definitely got to be on point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when, when did, the moment when you signed your deal, where was he when you got that call? Like, yo, come here do this paperwork like how'd you find out he was about to be signed I found out from my big bro Boona we was both like we was both like traveling back and forth like well, I want to say a travel it was like really around the corner like Philly New York Philly New okay. York like you know minutes. this before I moved to Atlanta yeah, so okay. you know we we went back to Philly we just came back from we we had a meeting with Atlantic Republic and, uh, so they was fighting right now. Yeah, yeah. so we had, and we had okay. RCA and we had Columbia. Okay. The last one we went to was Atlantic, I believe, but we had RCA on the line. Mm-hmm. So the next day, RCA called us like, yo, we found a home, like we need you. So we made it right. Yeah. Oh, oh. We made it right and we had came we had came back down the next day, the next the next morning, once they told once you know the Numbers was discussed. Everything was, you know. Okay, sound like a plan. Yeah, sound okay. like a plan. So everything was looking right, cause you know. So we went back the next day, and that's how it was. We drove to New York, signed a deal, and that. Was that. Okay, okay. So how did you know that this one was for you? I'm sure it wasn't just the numbers, the overall presentation. How did you know this label was for you? 
I know it was for me because when I walked in the doors, like, I, 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 I like, like, I like, you feel me, like, first impressions, like, I, it gotta be, like, genuine, like, okay. I, I gotta feel you, like, All you right. get what I'm saying? I can't just walk in the door and be like, I know this business, but at the end of the day, I wanna feel something more. Right. Because anybody, any, I could do business with anybody, you feel what I'm saying? I wanna know who got my best interest at heart. Mm -hmm. So when I walked in there, I, I don't know if, like, you probably have heard of him. I walked, I met Mark Pitts. Mm -hmm. Mark Pitts, like, outstanding dude, like, he just, like, Real, real genuine brother. So it was mm -hmm. like when I met him, like it, he just like that. That just you know felt like family. Right. Yeah, it felt like if it, it just it just snapped. Like he okay. ordered, like he automatically seen like what I had to offer. Like mm -hmm. as far as like talent, bro. Yeah. Like he pointed out like when I first Offered. walked through the door. Like he compared me to a young Chris Brown. Like I <laughs> took it as a joke, like laughing. But I, I feel like you, you know feel it now, it's a compliment. See, yeah. I feel like once people say stuff like that, they see a bigger vision they that see you don't a even vision. see. Yet. So yeah. So like when he's saying that, and you know him just embracing the whole situation, like he really was open ears to what I had to say, and like my background or what I had going on back home, and, okay. like you know, and you know I don't really like opening up mm -hmm. outside of my music. Right. But me and bro, we really had like a conversation. Genuine connection. Yeah. So like. He definitely felt me, and and I and I, I definitely felt him respect, like you know that he was just open air, open minded about a lot of things, cause you know a lot of motherfuckers be like, all right, he got talent, let's sign him for this and get him out of the yeah. way, put him on the put him on the. Right, list. you with a team, you don't even really yeah, know, like, bro, bro and just be all tough. Like like Mark Pitts, like he really made me feel like I was like welcome, like this was a family, this was a okay. home, like, you know what I'm saying, and we made it happen. All right, that's good, that's good. So tell us about your project about time. About time. Yeah. When I made that, it was like kind of like, just like I was going through like a tough time. Like tough when time with music, career, family, like a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Okay. To be honest with you, but yeah, when I made that, like it just came about like I just was grinding every every night, like every morning, every night, just grinding. Like, for real. Okay, so like, what could we expect? I know another project is coming. What could we expect moving forward? Are you in a better space now? Yeah, More I'm in happy a, I'm, I'm in a way better space <laughs> than I was last year. Well, I'm saying though, like, yeah, uh, my next my next project is gonna be called Who the Thought. Who the Thought? Yeah, Who the Thought. Okay, any collabs on there? You know, you had Lil Baby on the last one. We ain't gonna speak on that. Coming soon. Okay, okay. He told us it's gonna be best for you the remix. Best for you remix gonna be on that. We ain't gonna speak on that. We ain't soon. giving us nothing. All right. I can't. Man, okay, everything okay. on paper. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. So out of about time, all the songs on that project. What do you? What song you feel like is the most slept on? Um. To be honest with you, I feel like the most slept on song from there is. Kanye. Multiple. Okay, okay. I want. F I feel like I'm just gonna name two. Okay. Like I really feel strongly about. I feel like so beautiful is slept on and living and living life. Living life with yeah. little baby. Mm. Why you feel like it's slept on? I feel like they need the video. I feel, I feel like, like yeah, like kids it just need to see people. Yeah, it's doing not stuff. getting <laughs> like I like. I'm not gonna say it didn't do what I expected to do because you know people that come from where I come from, we not used to hundreds of thousands, we not used to tens of thousands. So right. like this all from the must. But right. I know I know like what You could do more. I know we could do more. You okay. get what I'm saying? So that's something that bothers me. Okay. So, you know, when I when I look and I just be watching or I listen, I'd be like, dang, like this really is like a banger. But mm -hmm. I feel like it need more like recognition like recognition. Okay, do you feel like you're super hard on yourself? Being at best for you went so big, Wildin went so big. Absolutely. I feel like I'm so always trying to match those numbers. Yeah, sometimes. I feel like I'm always trying to do better. Like always. Like it's not a time that go by where I'll be like, all right, I'm comfortable with my position. Okay. Like, I could be a million dollars up and I still feel like damn gotta work a little bit more. Yeah, like I gotta okay, I gotta good. I gotta work hard. I need more. So what's something on your bucket list? What's something you want to accomplish twenty twenty one? Almost over, sort of kinda. But what's something you want to accomplish musically? I guess before the year is over. Before the year is over. Mhm. Mm uh, Probably a lot of things, but give us one. A lot of things, like you know, every artist want to Grammy. I want to get nominated. I want to be in, like you know, I want, I want to have like 
I want to have that type of name where a motherfucker attached me to all sorts of things. Like, all sorts of things? Type, like movies. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? So you want to act too? Endorsements. Yeah, I do all that. Like, I okay. just want to be in, I want to be in front of the screen. Like, that's the type of person I've always been since a baby. Like, I, I never looked at myself as being no regular individual or citizen. Okay. Like, so you're super open, outspoken, mm -hmm. things like that. So what's some advice you would give an upcoming artist that was watching you and watching your story? What's some advice you would give them? Or it's kind of like some advice I would give them is like really don't let nobody like discourage you don't let nobody you know make you feel like you know like don't let nobody tell you your worth like if you know your worth you got faith then you gonna go a long way like I can't I gotten this far because I ain't let nobody tell me or let nobody you know downgrade my situation like motherfuckers always try to downplay what you got going on especially when they ain't got nothing going on so yeah so low-key haters and all that yeah stuff. you feel what i'm saying but i just feel like my advice to them is just to keep pushing like keep you know pushing. you don't know what to expect tomorrow like, i didn't wake up the next day like oh i'm gonna get this big deal i just was grinding like you know mm -hmm. i put my faith in god and you know and i just kept grinding that's it okay okay so what to expect for you what should we be, be looking forward you said another project some collabs mm -hmm. what should we be looking forward to you you gonna see my face often, like I'm I'm looking forward to a lot of appearances, like a lot of showcases, and you know just coming outside more. I've been locked away for almost a year because this COVID thing. Okay. And I feel like I wasn't able to get in, get a connection with the crowd, with my mm. fans, supporters, and this is my time to do that. Okay. All right. So tell the people where to find you, where to find your music. How well, to get you, could, you could find me on all platforms. You know, <laughs> all platforms. And uh, I want y'all to follow me at Lil X Moot at Gmail. I said Gmail. At Gmail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> sending send them all, inquiries. Send all that, send sending beats, them inquiries. Send the beats to the Gmail. That's what I was thinking in my head. Send the beats to Lil X Moot at Gmail. You got a favorite producer or favorite beat maker or something? Not yet? You Not working that I can with think people? of. I, Dougie on the beat. Dougie on the beat? Okay. He one of my favorite right now. Producers. So, uh -huh. yeah, I seen you in the studio with Nick Bucks. I seen y'all cooked Nick up something. Buck. That's my guy. You know he cooked us some. Um, any other New York artists you fucking with? Uh, TJ Porter. I fuck with um I f I, I fuck with little TJ music. Okay. Um, you know, the originals. I, I mentioned the originals, okay. And uh I, I really can't think of much right now. Yeah. Too many. It's cool, it's cool. Well who's who's upcoming from Philly? Who should we be looking out for next? We know you. Any One upcoming? question. I'm sorry. What? Stunning and Bino from New York. Yes. Yeah, I fuck with his music. He's heavy. <laughs> yeah, heavy. Stunning from New York. Any um any upcoming Philly artists? Any artists from your city that's buzzing that we should look out for? Yeah, uh, you know, Young K, of course, you know, yeah. and that's you, Shido. Okay. Um. I don't know. That's I'm trying. I'm really thinking like, cause I don't really listen to nobody but me. Oh, okay, but, you okay, know, okay. Like, you know how people be people, like, oh, my little man working for me. Yeah, I don't like. Know. You feel me? Like, that's. I feel like we we the we the trending artists in the city okay, right yeah, now. Okay, yeah, yeah, like, definitely are. I was about to say, I seen the um top thirty Philly artists list, and you and Young K was on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. G12. G12. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. You see, I'm gonna tap in though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> before g1000 yeah, it's a, like it's a lot of it's a lot of artists like it's a lot of artists and a lot of talent in the city like ain't gonna lie okay so y'all all work in philly on this way so yeah tell people where to find you where to find your music all that good you can stuff. follow me on instagram at Lil X Moot, and my music on all platforms just type in Lil Moot and i'll pop right <laughs>